Hi, it's John. It's the beginning of August and I'm just on the way to the dump and I thought I'd make good use of my journey and I'm on my way to look at a very old post box, about 1850 something, that a friend of mine who's an industrial archaeologist um, wanted me to find and he found it and he knows all about it and found it and that was more or less his first topic of conversation when I met him. Oh, you live near that phone box, uh, that, um, that old post box. So I thought I'd better find it. But it's not quite in Holwell. It's just on the way outside of Holwell. That's why I didn't know where it was. Um, but I know where it is now because what I did, I looked, looked it up on Google, then Google Images, and then went to the page, and then somehow I found a map where it was. It's quite a nice little area. I've done a video here of the church before see Holwell Church 15th century and we're at a sort of three-way well crossroads or T-junction I suppose it is a crossroads and that's where the church is down that little lane down there oh you can just see the church behind that bungalow um, which is quite interesting I love seeing church towers just poking out from behind places Um, over there is uh, a, a vineyard and I did know who it, who it was owned by because it's just where I did a car boot here and that vineyard is l very good because it's a south facing field so it gets the sun nicely and it, apparently it does make good wine good wine there quite nice views through the trees here um, nice nice sort of composures and there's a sort of traffic island in between this crossroads and it's got some lovely wildflowers on it I mean, they might get cut down shortly, but they're here at the moment. There's lovely purple vetch, comfrey, and, well, a lot of other plants. I'm not sure of their names, some of the other plants, but um, no reason why you shouldn't have wildflowers in a traffic island. You know, I just moved to take a photo, and I can see the post box in the distance there. So this first cottage is called Barnes Cross and I think this area might be called Barnes Cross. Uh, and the post box has been fairly recently repainted because somebody complained that it was looking a bit dull. So it was repainted. I think I preferred it in the old paint. Um, it looks very nice now though clematis and wisteria at the cottage walls that's two cottages there so it's sort of like industrial archaeology but it's municipal archaeology really isn't it it's not like industri industry really um, John Butt Gloucester Oh, he's got his name on here twice. And the letterbox actually has a little flap. I dare say that's to suck the blue tits nesting in it. Big lock down there, I don't know whether that's a modification. There's a, big th there's a big thistle by the side of it, which has just recently been cut down. So it suggests to me that it's not used all that much. But uh, it's a lovely thing. Right, bye for now.